Good morning, I'm Sonia or La Femme Artur and welcome to my vlog. Today is Sunday, February 19th and we are just beginning week 8 of our challenge, Me and Justice, to run, walk, or crawl 1,000 miles in 2017 and we're logging in those miles across all 50 states. Today is our last day in Tennessee. It's a foggy day, foggy morning so far, but it's supposed to be gorgeous this afternoon. So I was looking for a place to get some work done, but most of the coffee shops in this little town, uh, actually all of them are closed on Sundays. So I guess I'll be hitting the Golden Arches again this morning, uh, having a cup of coffee, getting a little work done. They do have free Wi-Fi and they open early. Uh, it's supposed to clear up and get beautiful this afternoon, so hoping to hit another hike and see another one of the beautiful falls in this area before we move on to our next destination. So Justice and I are on a short hike today taking in another set of falls in the area that we've been hiking and camping in. It's supposed to be, again, one of the 10 prettiest falls in Tennessee. Um, I'm a little off right now, a little irritated. I spent like three hours this morning constructing an email to send to my new MailChimp list. Uh, friends and family keeping up with my journey eventually maybe selling some prints, some of my photographic services, maybe even land a book deal one of these days. Um, so got ready to send my first email and I get a notification from MailChimp that I'm somehow in violation of their use guidelines. And I can't get any clarification until their office opens at least tomorrow. I don't know how quickly they resolve these kinds of issues. So, a little perturbed, <laughs> trying to figure out what I could have done that would have violated their use terms. And the word violation just makes me shudder because I have such a high compliance personality. So it makes me feel like I've done something wrong, oh no. Um, so I'm a little out of sorts. I'm hoping that the beautiful sunshine and the beautiful hike and Hopefully the beautiful waterfall will help soothe my spirits. It's just a hiccup, right? It's not really that big of a deal. Well folks, there are the falls. I don't know if you can hear me over that roar, but oh wow, it's just beautiful. Funny how some of the things that seem so simple can prove to be so difficult. It was less than a mile to hike down here. Hi Justice. Um, but we had to traverse that, which was tricky enough coming down, especially with an uncooperative pup. You know, sometimes Justice likes to choose a different line than me and we get twisted around tree limbs and that. She's easy to forgive though. Look at that face. Anywho. I'm gonna hang out here for a few minutes before we start making the truck back up. Apparently, we are actually working our way through a portion of the trail that's not quite complete. The normal white blazes and manicured pathway are not existent. Instead, we have these orange markers tied to the trees that kind of show where someday this trail will ultimately connect with the rest of the Cumberland Trail. I have to say, my family would probably not be very happy, but it's kind of exciting to be on an unfinished trail. And working our way back to civilization. Justice knows the way. And here's where the blazes start up again. We go from orange string back to white blaze. You think I was an expert or something? Not. This is one of the more 
interesting and fun parts of the trail. Got to be careful with your footing. As you can see, it's still rather damp here and uh, the rocks are fairly slick. I think I'm going to stop filming to navigate this section. So I'm kind of sad to be leaving the island. Um, it's been really beautiful and quiet and I've gotten a lot accomplished mentally and learning a lot about travel writing and oh gosh there's so much to know. <laughs> Uh, doing some research and hiking um, several portions of the Cumberland Trail which has been fantastic. Um, really excited about the trail experience and being able to share it um, with people through video and some of the photographs. So it's one last trip to the Golden Arches in the morning, clean up my photography and then I'm off to the next destination. I'm excited about the next couple of days because of my friend Allison. I am going to participate in a five course wine dinner at a friend's place and then have an overnight at an Airbnb location where I'll have access to a real bed <laughs> um, as well as laundry facilities and I'll be able to prepare myself a proper meal. So I should be rested and refreshed and ready to move into our next state, state number nine, which will be Kentucky. And with that, I bid you adieu.